Hello fellow freaks, Goth Mermaid Gamer here, back with more Fallout 4. Okay, so I tried to record this, like, yesterday, and for some reason OBS kept, like, I don't know why it was doing that, but it kept, like, crashing and then, like, corrupting the video. So, but luckily though, I had a save from, like, where I had started on that video, so I can play it again, and hopefully this time the recording won't mess up. So, let's uh, get on into it and see what happens. Okie doke. So, um... Let's see. Oh, I can level up. There. Get that up so I can get the uh, hacking and lockpicking upgrade. Gotta do that. Oh yeah. Um, after I had stopped recording, <laughs> uh, Mama Murphy approached us and asked us to build her little chair, so let's do that real quick. Go. Special Mama Murphy's chair. And I got a mod to bring back her concept art chair, which is way more awesome. I don't know why. They should have, um. They should have, uh, just stuck with this because it's way more unique and cool than just a plain old chair. So, there we go. Now we just have to wait and she'll go sit in it. Need something? Not at the moment. There she goes. She's probably going to go sit in it. Oh, yeah. Man. New outfit. So I think we will go in I will try to do what I did last time, and hope it doesn't get corrupted, like I said. Which was, we went and uh, met Dance and did that little mission where we helped them out. So let's... Uh... Yeah, he's right here, so... Fast travels to the apartments. <coughs> Worf, Worf, let me, um, quick save because last time he blew my ass up. Yes, dog meat, I hear it. Okay. Sneaky. Whew. Okay, got that one. Easy does it. All right, no blow up this time. Lock tight. Dog me, I can't open this one yet, man. Why'd you lead me to it? Oh wait, I think we already been through. So, map. We go this way, I think. Do I have... A, uh... Yeah, here we go. Here, maybe that'll protect me from the... Somewhat protect me from the radiation rain, maybe. Where is 
is that infernal bus? I've been waiting here for so long. Uh, I hate to break it to you, Lee, but uh, I don't think it's coming. Ever. <laughs> Cuckoo. Maybe that's a little harsh. Oh, well, she ain't hurting nobody. Just let her, let her be. I get to my lesson. Uh, thanks, dog meat. I can open the door. There's nothing even in here. Okay, then we keep going. Don't mind me passing through. Wait. Nothing new to report, General. Oh, these are minute men. Sweet. Last. <laughs> When I came through here that last time, it was, uh, scavengers and raiders. Nothing's getting by me, man. Good man. Good man. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need loot. Nice to see that it's springlies this time. Let's go. This site belongs to the Minutemen. That's good to know. Good, good. Whoa. Oh, where, where? No. That's a fox. Oh, there it is. Whoa, I didn't know this thing would move. Huh. Oh, look at that. It actually moves. I didn't know it would do that. Interesting. Ugh. But yeah, gosh. Crickets are creepy, man. It's like two bugs I really can't stand. Crickets and cockroaches. Good boy. Oh, well, let me get this thing. Woo! Almost didn't get it. Good lord. Oh, I bet that stinks to high heaven right there. What was I saying about- oh yeah, um, cockroaches and crickets. I can't stand them. Though, uh, cockroaches I've gotten a little bit better about. I'm not as freaked out by them as I used to be, but they still do kind of creep me out. Like now, I'd rather just, like, leave them be because I know, uh, they won't bother me if they don't have to. Live and let live, as they say. Whoops. The crickets, yeah, I'm definitely still creeped out by them. Like, a lot. 
Oh, oh, don't get up. I'll see myself out. Watch out, dog meat. Dog meat. Dog meat. Dog meat. Thank you. Excuse me. Was well, it safe to say the raiders here didn't stand a chance? Yeah, overrun by the, they they picked a fight with ghouls and uh, did not win. Did not end well for them. Damn, that's kind of a undignified death position. <laughs> Oh, there's some more. Bro, how did he move that whole thing? Do you see that? He moved that little car. <laughs> more dead raiders and ghouls. Oh, where? Where? Oh, there definitely is. They're everywhere. This area is like a hot spot for ghouls. Oh, oh, run, 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 run. Time to reload. Yeah, no shit, Ron. Eh, I didn't run far enough away. Tried to run back in here when I got him. I don't think there's anything else. Nah. Yes, I hear the gunfire in the distance, but hold on, I'm not done exploring. Yeah. No kidding! Dogmeat is such a good boy. Oh, would you see him tackle that feral to the ground that was attacking me? Noodle cup. Let's eat some uh, probably cold noodles that have been sitting out in the wasteland, irradiated air. I'm sure, that's safe to eat. There's nothing in it. What? Why was it locked? There was nothing in it. Why was there nothing in it? <laughs> I 
Mm-hmm. Quick save. Watch out, boy. Watch out. Alright. Let's go. Oh, there's one of those old plasky things. What? I gotta unlock this one? his head off. Ooh, pocket watch. A gold pocket watch. Nice. this? Was somebody doing coke in the bathroom? When the bombs dropped? Quick save again. Hopefully I don't get my dumb ass blown up this time. Watch out, guys. You know, that always sets off a chain reaction of those cars. Wait. Hold up, wait a minute. Sorry, my special self completely forgot to uh, adjust my uh, PNG down there. Oopsie. Sorry about that. At least I actually noticed it this time instead of going the whole game before I realized. Like that one time. I'm sure we all remember. Okay, okay. Where's is there a trip what what made it what made it blow up last time? What was it that blew up? Okay. Why didn't it blow up this time? I thought they were like bottle cap mines or something. Huh. Alright. Well. Odd, but okay. I won't complain. I think that was it though, so... Let's go, guys. Hmm? 
What? What are you boofing at? I don't see anything. It says he found something, but I already checked in here. No, oh, whatever. from the cars before they all blow up. There are lots of dead ringers over here. Alright, so they gotta be over this way. Yeah, they're right over this way. Well, we have our next target. Oh, yep, I hear his voice. Yeah, it should be done this way. Someone in trouble. <laughs> Tally ho. Ow. Come and get some. Hell yeah. We're bad. We came, we saw, we kicked their ass. If that was all the of them. Check your fire. Was that really all of them? Did we clear them out already? Well, that was fast. Usually, like, there's another wave that comes through. Oh well. Hi. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals? I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? Watch it to you, buddy. I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, Why not? it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the <laughs> Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If I certainly to wasn't going to tell you where I'm really from. Use an extra gun on our side. That's not number one rule of the internet. You know, don't reveal any personal information like that. <laughs> I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you really? Very well. 
I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Who are the Brotherhood of Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology. Its power. Its meaning to us as humans. And we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. How did mankind abuse technology? Before the Great War, science and technology became more of a burden than a benefit. The atom bomb, bioengineered plagues, and FEV are clear examples of the horrors that technological advancement had wrought. We're here to make sure that never happens again. So you steal technology and keep it for yourselves? You're implying that we do this to benefit ourselves. I can assure you our motivation is quite the opposite. So, what do you say? Will you help us? It's a good plan. If we make it back. I can assure you that I wouldn't undertake this mission unless I had confidence in your abilities. Wow. Thank you, man I just met. Halen, take Reese inside and find his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah. Uh huh. Right with you as soon as I'm done snooping around and looting things. Hope you don't mind me uh, taking, you know the things you need to keep to give to a fallen soldier's next of kin off his uh, dead ass body look folks I might be, you know, a looter. It's sort of a thief type, but uh, I'm a, I'm a looter with a heart of gold here. If I happen to find some object that belongs to somebody while I'm looting, well, I'll gladly hand it over to them. Yeah. <laughs> so don't get me wrong. <laughs> You're all hard, Doc. Just quit squirming so I can get these bandages on. Exceed the Commonwealth. Wait, proceed the area designated as a Commonwealth to form a standard long range recon operation. Report any. Unusual activity using long range communications. A scabbard. Extraction time undetermined. Why? I'm not going through all that. <sighs> yeah. I'm not gonna sit here and read everything. Think you're some kind of hot shot? Why are you so angry with me? I'm not angry. I'm just letting you know where you stand. You're hired help, and that's all there is to it. I'll be certain to keep out of your way, then. You do that. Now, why don't you run off and see if Top needs you to do anything else? Oh, sorry about the other guys.
Why are you cutting me so much slack? I, uh... I joined the Brotherhood not too long ago. They used to be like you. Wandering alone. So I know what it feels like when every single person you bump into sticks a gun in your face. Look, it may not seem like it, but Dance is a good man. He's just all soldier. Protocol? This is bread and butter. And Reese? Well, let's just say he's as hard-headed as a Mr. Gutsy. But you know what? I trust both of them with my life. Because they're good people. And that's hard to come by nowadays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, needless to say, I don't like Reese. Reese, I wouldn't say damn name. I've just, um... I've got a real low tolerance for hard asses like that. Field scribe Halen, personal log entry, 324A. I'm starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my humanity in the process. The Brotherhood's message of hope for the future is idealistic and noble, but their methods leave a lot to be desired. The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, they wield violent confrontation to exert control. Despite all that, I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of the field scribe. I suppose only time will tell how long I can stand the sight of spilled blood over my own moral fiber. Mm. Nothing in the bathroom. Dang it. Nee. Nee. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. That's it. Common sight these days. I'm sure yes. some would even call this clean. To Man, that lot was a tuffy. Excellent. Sunglasses. Awesome. I can get my Johnny Cage on. Or my Wesker, you know. Pick you pick your favorite. Oh yeah, I've leveled up. Let me up my charisma. So that I can uh, actually talk to people now. <laughs> and won't fail persuasion checks. Dog meat, stand on his back, see see how many he can do. Hey, Bobby Benz. Handcuffs. Looks like Bro was picking his locks, his handcuffs. I do like the little skeletons that are actually like doing, like they were doing something. So it just kind of gives you a little. You can just imagine what they were doing when the bombs dropped. Hello, T. 
team. Captain Whitmark here. Welcome to the task force. Operation Winter's End starts now, with you. Together, we will knock Eddie Winter off his throne and dump his sorry ass in a 2,000 volt easy chair. It should come as a surprise to no one that our operations in Boston have been, in a word, compromised. Winter has eyes everywhere, even the BPD. So Ooh. our brothers across the river in Cambridge have been kind enough to let us use the Cambridge Police Department as our base of operations. Let's get to work. Good hunting. So that was an Eddie Winters tape, so uh, I kind of picked that one up a bit early. That's going to be for, uh, I think that's some... Um, Valentine, Nick Valentine's little personal quest, I think. Yeah. So, I did not real I did not know, um, I guess I didn't read all of the uh, description, but I didn't know with that bow and arrow mod that in the Cambridge police station is a big ass long bow and a bunch of arrows. That's pretty cool. Yes. Hackerman. Well done. Well done indeed. Thank you. Remind me to equip that thing. Yes, dog meat. I can see there's stuff in front of me. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay, is there anything actually out here, or are you just telling me there was a door? I think he was just telling me there was a door. Go back inside. Back upstairs. Alright. Pick up all the goodies. Well, we can just take this stuff. We were invited. Let me check out this, uh... What? Why is this one get Oh, probably because I need to upgrade that one. <laughs> like that little sound it makes. Yo, dance. Oh wait, don't walk away. I'm about to say something to you. Come here. Paladin dance. You ready to move out? Why establish an outpost at the police station? Given the nature of the facility, we felt it would be tactically advantageous to search it for weapons and ammunition. The radio tower on the roof was an unexpected boon, but it obviously has its shortcomings that need to be rectified. It might not be as imposing as the Citadel back in the capital wasteland, but it suits our purposes. That's all I'm willing to divulge at this point. Are you ready to proceed with the mission? Ready. Outstanding. Follow Outstanding. Me. Try not to lag behind. Yes, sir. Hey, wait a minute. You didn't do your fancy helmet flip and put it on.
You're just gonna go helmetless? So you put your helmet on. That's weird. I think it's the first time I've noticed that he didn't do that little flip trick and then put it on. We'll take this alley. Follow me. Arc Jet is a short hike to the west. If we take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals at best in Cambridge. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. But getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy readings in the area that need to be investigated. We don't know much about them, except that they're short-lived and broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to accept them. Uh-huh. Very careful. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, he was twerking there for a minute. <laughs> According to this thing, I don't have any arrows. Oh, more drones. They're stuck in place. This is going to be a pleasure. Nothing like a little dust up to get the oil flowing, eh? Well, damn, Dance took that thing out quick. Fruit crit? Is that what that said? Nut fruit. Ugh. Oh, thanks, dog meat. Huh. Alright, let's see what we got. What'd I get? What'd I get? Come on, come on, come on. What'd I get? What'd I get? Hello? Well, wait a minute. It didn't tell me what I got. Pear pie? Boost limb regeneration for 30 minutes. Oh, wait, this is just a regular... Okay, yeah. Wow, it actually gave me just a regular base game vanilla pie, yeah, just... Okay. Well. Oh. Alright then. Let's go. Fire. We may have a problem here. We've got company. Raiders. Just because we're sold. Oh just shit! Can't enjoy the spoils. He just blew her head right off while she was running. I heard my dog yelp. Who's shooting my dog? Good boy. Okay. It might 
surprise you to learn that my recon team isn't the first to visit the Commonwealth. Over the last seven years, two other teams were sent here by the Brotherhood to gather technology. The first team's mission was a huge success. They came back with crates full of pre-war artifacts and historical documents. The second wasn't so fortunate. Shortly after they arrived, we lost contact with them, and they haven't been heard from since. As far as my team goes, we've lost four good men to this godforsaken wasteland. We've been a target from the moment we arrived. But despite our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home, or end up missing. All right, we can go now. Oh, it's a little fox. Oh, shit. Um. Ow! Oh, no! You're dead. Again. Well, damn. Good thing I just quick saved. I don't think we're alone. You're here somewhere. There we go. We killed it that time. What the? Oh. Nasty ass bugs and bloat flies. Bloat flies are so gross. Let's clear the Finger uh, hit the attack button by accident. There it is, Arc Jet Systems. There shouldn't be any exterior security, so we'll head into the front. coming. <gasps> Wacoon! It's a Wacoon! It's a Listen little up. trash panda! Hey, what? Yeah. Paladin. Listen up. We do this clean and quiet. No heroics and buy the book. Understood? <sighs> Understood. Outstanding. <laughs> Outstanding. Remember, our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. Well, I'm not using bullets, so, um, <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Watching the video. Let me ask you something. Why aren't you subscribed yet? I mean, you're already watching this video. You must like something you're seeing, right? Well, if you want to see some more, all you got to do is hit that little subscribe button there. It's right, right down there somewhere. Yeah, subscribe. Subscribing is free. It 
it was corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology to their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the mm -hmm. Eh. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Is this the Brotherhood of Steel's handiwork? Unfortunately, no. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Synth? Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. Wow, how very, um... What's the right word? Dictator-like of you? What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. This place is a mess. I still see a few pieces of salvage that the brother might be in. After we're done here, we'll have to mark this place for sweet and retrieve. What's it? Oh. Oh, it's dripping. Oh, look at that. I didn't even know this game had that effect. Like, <laughs> the old pipes are actually dripping. I didn't know, I didn't even notice before that it had that level of detail. There we go. Let there be light. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoitre the area. Okay. This is your annual reminder that all terminal and mainframe passwords are to be changed on a monthly basis. Failure to do so may result in automated changes, a suspension of network privileges, and or disciplinary action. Please do your part in keeping ArcJet systems secure. Oh, got the password. place before we go and before I open the door up. Okay, I guess that was it. Wait, isn't there a hollow tape somewhere? Oh yeah, it's right in front of your face, Doom cough. Oh. Soon we'll be doing push-ups. 
eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy private laboratory. Of course I remember. All right. Watch me like that. Creepy looking thing. See that damn thing just stopped shooting me and just started throwing hands. <laughs> Give me my arrow back. Ooh. I almost got fried. this. Nah. Because I'll have to do it this way then. Eh. If I don't break all my bobby pins. Ah. Me. Oh, come on. So close. Yeah. Got it. Another one. Oh, nice, nice. Let me check the downstairs stuff. Eh. Is... Ugh. Yeah, yeah, um, you take care of that. I'm gonna dick around on the computer. Pick up this magazine. Hell yeah. Oh my god, I'm not reading all that.
นี่โอ้ come on Finally, yes. Good grief. There we go. Hacker man. Turned off the turrets. I don't know if that matters now, but give me that Nuka Cola. Bedroom. Bummy pen. It's sad this level of technology is like a lost art. Yeah. And let's cross over into the whip into the girls' room. <laughs> Ooh, mentats. And medigum. Is that it? All right. <gasps> Nuka cherry. Yes. Hacker man. As requested, I've had a floor safe installed in the front office area. Excuse me, stretch. This should allow you to pay for any incoming deliveries or store valuables until they can be transferred to a more secure location. Let me know if you have any issues with the safe or the locking mechanism. Realize our announcement regarding the Mars Shop project caused quite a lot of excitement with the national media. If any members of the press are requesting statements or interviews, please direct them to our public relations department. Do not attempt to answer any questions or give any information regarding the project unless pre-authorization has been provided. Okay. That's it. Whoop. Bro was getting high in the elevator, man. I don't know, can you get high off mentats? I know they're like supposed to be like mental clarity shit. Alright, come on. Engine cores ahead. Should be our final stop. Quick save. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out of this section. Yes, sir. Oh, damn. Walls got the crap Look burned out of them. Place. Describes it have a field day in here. The transmitter should be in the control room at the top of the core. But it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now. We'll find a way to get the facility's power back online. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off of the main chamber. I'll remain here. 
Watch our backs. Alrighty. Ouch. What you ouching about? Uh. Hell yeah. Junk jet. You know, I never actually used this thing. Is it even any good? See you out there. He took shop class. Oh, look, he's reading the science mag. How cute. Ha ha ha. Shop class. Let's see them make this in shop class. Marvelous. The finest in weaponized refuse acceleration. My sweet. My junk. Got it. That guy didn't sound bitter and jealous at all. I'll take that, thank you. I'm in. Hackerman. Start the generators. Wow. Engine core power restored. Thermal You're engine, right. Fuel mode, prime, and standing by for your command. Command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Oh shit. Five, four. We just sit back and watch the show. Three. Two. Epic music playing, too. Oh my god! Are you alright? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Guess he's quite the tough cookie, huh? Come on. Ugh, what are y'all are taking forever? Oh god, almost lobbed dog meat's head off. Yeah, they'll just kind of materialize. Hold up. Intruder alert! Is someone present? No. Combat initiated. Contact detail. Possibly. Dude, he's just a torso. What the heck? Oh, come on. 
gotcha. Must end your existence. I am a victim of violence. What the hell? I hope that's the last. Hey. Yeah. I don't see the device anywhere. Fan out and check the synth remains. We may have an app the transmitter as well. Radio. Shot him right in the crotchal region. Oh, buddy, if you were human, that would have been a sucky place to get shot. Okay, he's got it. Let's get out of here. We'll take the service elevator to the surface. Borf, borf. Let's move out. Mac and cheese. Yum. I mean, that's what he was bork borking at was. Hey, there's a little chest over here. Paladin dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Righteous authority. Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? Eh, sorry buddy, this isn't the character that's gonna do the Brotherhood of Steel storyline. No. I need to move on. I'm afraid we have our own mission to fulfill, Paladin Dance. One of great importance. That's a shame. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find us. Good luck to you. You too. Alright, gang. Let us continue on our journey.
Can I level up? Yes. Where is... There we go. Let's go over here to this big memorial thing. See what random encounter we get. Uh oh. Where? Oh, hey, well, we're not even. In bed. Caps. What the hell is that thing? Is that like an imp from hell or something? What is that? Oh yeah? Look, it looks like I shall be the one wearing your guts. Around to mine the neck. Well, I'll take this Marvin meat too. Hey, whoa, what's this? Mmm, radiated water, awesome. Aw, little foxy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where the heck? I trust everyone's still alive. Good job. Well, all right. Let's see, map. Oh yeah, let's go up this way, get on that little bridge thing so we can cross over. Oh my gosh. Oh jeez, they are just like scurrying right towards me. <laughs> rocks. Alright. Good hustle, guys. I mean, not really. It took you forever to get over to me and help me, but whatever. Now that little red bridge over there is where we need to go.
Poor little bastard doesn't have his signature fluffy tail with the white stripe. Yeah, well, I'm not going to Grey Garden just yet. Hello? Whatever. Let's go. Though the buttons for Skyrim and Fallout are a little different from each other, so that's why sometimes I press the wrong button thinking it's the button that I want. Because it's mapped differently in the other game. <laughs> Pardon me, ladies. Hey, did the Minutemen send you? Yes, I'm here to help. What's the problem? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies. Threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. But we shall save that for next time. Uh, I'm gonna call it a video here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Especially comment, because that really helps out with the algorithm. Even if you're just saying howdy. And uh... See y'all in the next one. Bye. Hey, freaks. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more, just hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like the video while you're at it. Maybe share it with a friend, too. Just little ways you can help my humble little channel grow. I love you all, and I'll see you freaks in the next video. Bye.